Organic wine is wine made from grapes grown in accordance with principles of organic farming, which typically excludes the use of artificial chemical fertilizers, pesticides, fungicides and herbicides. The consumption of organic wine grew at a rate of 3.7% over the year ending September 19, 2009, outpacing growth in the consumption of non-organic wine which grew 2% during a similar period. There are an estimated 1,500 to 2,000 organic wine producers globally, including negotiant labels, with more than 885 of these organic domains in France alone. The legal definition of organic wine varies from country to country. The primary difference in the way that organic wine is defined relates to the use or non-use of preservatives during the wine-making process. Topic. Production and preservatives Wine production comprises two main phases, that which takes place in the vineyard i.e. grape growing and that which takes place in the winery i.e. fermentation of the grapes into wine, bottling etc. The baseline definition of organic wine is, "...wine made with grapes farmed organically", deals only with the first phase grape growing. There are numerous potential inputs which can be made during the second phase of production in order to ferment and preserve the wine. The most universal wine preservative is sulfur dioxide. The issue of wine preservation is central to the discussion of how organic wine is defined. Wine matures over time, and it is widely considered that certain types of wines improve with aging, as the flavors become more integrated and balanced. As a result, the greatest percentage of wines are produced in a way that allows them to last, sometimes as long as decades. The use of added sulfites is debated heavily within the organic winemaking community. Many vintners favor their use for stabilization of wine, while others frown on them. Currently the only effective preservatives that allow wines to last for a long period are non-organic. While there are a growing number of producers making wine without added preservatives, it is generally acknowledged that these wines are for consumption within a few years of bottling. The various legal definitions of organic wine serve to address this challenge regarding the use of preservatives. In some parts of the world, namely Europe, wine cannot legally be labeled as organic wine. Wines that have added sulfites, but are otherwise organic, are labeled wine made from organic grapes. In the United States, wine certified organic under the National Organic Program cannot contain added sulfites. In 2017, according to the survey, Le Bio, c'est bon pour l'emploi, conducted by the UMR Moisa, Supergro Montpelier, INRA, an organic wine farm creates 1.5 times more jobs than a non organic wine farm. Another finding is that jobs in this sector are more stable. 34.6% of organic farms employ one or more permanent employees against 21.6% in the case of non-certified farms. Similarly, 71.49% of employees are full-time, compared to 66.83% on non-organic farms. <laughs> organic versus conventional wine growing In the USA, strict rules govern the organic winemaking process at all stages of production including harvesting, the types of yeast that can be used during fermentation as well as storage conditions. These rules are applied for all imported and domestic wines that acquire USDA certification. In the USA, the total sulfite level must be less than 20 parts per million in order to receive organic certification. Organic certification in the UK is more simple as it is based upon the fact that the grapes are grown organically. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Organic certification. Organic certification of wine is complex. Different nations have different certification criteria. In the United States, the National Organic Program, run by the United States Department of Agriculture, sets standards for certification of organic foods, including organic wines. In the United Kingdom, organic wine is defined as such made out of organic grapes. Some wineries that are technically organic choose not to be certified for various reasons. Natural wine 
Natural winemaking is a style loosely defined as using native yeasts in the fermentation process and minimal or no sulfur dioxide in the winemaking process. It may also mean unfined and unfiltered as well. Natural winemaking is not governed by laws in the U.S. and has no inspection or verification process unless it is a biodynamic wine. Estimates are that less than 10% of the organically grown wine in the United States is made in a natural winemaking style, most of which is certified biodynamic wine. Natural winemakers may use organic or biodynamic grapes in their wines. Using native yeasts and relying on minimal manipulation often means that wines have a varying profile from year to year. Different vintages vary more than conventionally made wine because of the non interventionist approach. This is a key part of the natural wine aesthetic which emphasizes the least amount of intervention. The natural wine movement has grown in popularity in part as a backlash against the parkerization of wine, in which a small number of critics' palates and the point system has come to define the market value of wines. The effect of this on wine producers has been to try to manipulate the taste of their wine for example trying to increase the intensity of fruit and oak in order to please certain wine critics and get higher ratings. As a result, critics of these critics say this is causing an increasing uniformity amongst wines and a loss of regional and varietal character. The natural wine movement is one response to the global commodification of winemaking. <laughs> <laughs> Sustainable wines Some farmers take additional steps beyond standard organic winemaking to apply sustainable farming practices. Examples include the use of composting and the cultivation of plants that attract insects that are beneficial to the health of the vines. Sustainable practices in these vineyards can also extend to actions that have seemingly little or nothing to do with the production of grapes such as providing areas for wildlife to prevent animals from eating the grapes and allowing weeds and wildflowers to grow between the vines. Sustainable farmers may use biodiesel for tractors in the vineyards to reduce emissions among the vines, or plow with horses. Sustainable wine making is a systems perspective of integration of the natural and human resources, involving environmental health, economic profitability, and social and economic equity. It requires small, realistic, and measurable steps as defined in the Code of Sustainable Winegrowing Practices Workbook published by the California Sustainable Winegrowing Alliance See also Organic movement Biodynamic wine